Hello and good morning. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Oni de Guzman, and our topic for today is Evaluating Algebraic Expressions for Grade 7, Quarter 2. In this tutorial video, we will talk about evaluating algebraic expressions. After going through this video, you are expected to evaluate algebraic expressions for given values of variables. Specifically, you will state the steps in evaluating algebraic expressions, evaluate algebraic expressions, apply evaluating algebraic expressions in real-life situations. Before we start with evaluating algebraic expressions, let us talk about first substitution property of equality. If two quantities are equal, then one quantity can be replaced by the other. In symbols, for all numbers a and b, if a is equal to b, then a may be replaced by b. Here are the steps in simplifying the order of operations that we can use for evaluating algebraic expressions. So we have simplify expression within grouping symbols, then simplify powers. Next is simplify products and quotients in order from left to right, then simplify the sums and difference in order from left to right. So let's have application of evaluating algebraic expression. Say for instance, you would like to treat your best friend for soda and pizza. So we will let soda equals S and pizza equals P. And the cost of each soda is equal to 30 pesos and pizza is equal to 80 pesos per slice. And you decided to buy two cans of soda and five slices of pizza. So how much will you pay in all? So again, in order to find the total cost, so we will use now the substitution. So, we will let the open and close parentheses for our variables S and P. Then after that, plug in the given values. So, S is equal to 30 and P is equal to 80. Then, you simply perform the operation. Meaning to say, 2 times 30 equals 60, while 5 times 80 is equal to 400. Then add, so we have 460. So, therefore, you will pay... 460 pesos in all. However, you move on to other stores such that, okay, this time the value of soda is equal to 50 pesos while pizza is equal to 100 pesos. You still decided to buy 2 cans of soda and 5 slices of pizza. So how much will you pay this time? So again, so we start with substitution. So again, we will let open and close parentheses for our variables. Then simply plug in the given numbers such that the S is equal to 50 and P is equal to 100. Then let's simplify. So 2 times 50 is equal to 100 while 5 times 100 is equal to 500. So add together, so we have 600. So therefore, you will pay this time 600 pesos in all. If you will notice, the value will change from time to time. So this is the meaning of evaluating algebraic expression. The value will change if the value of the given variable will change also. Let us consider the next example. Evaluate the polynomial 6x squared plus 3 when x is equal to 0. So first is we will write down the given expression, then simply change the variable x into open and close parentheses, and then plug in the given value of x. So meaning to say this is the time that we will substitute the value of x is equal to 0, then simplify. Take note that 0 squared will give us 0 times 6, so we have 0 plus 3. Simplifying it further, so we have 3. So therefore, 6x squared plus 3, when x is equal to 0, is equal to 3. Let's have another example. Evaluate the polynomial 6x squared plus 3 when x is equal to 3. So this time, we'll write down the given expression 6x squared plus 3. 
and the value of x now this time is equal to 3. So plug in the value of 3. So then simplify. So take note that 3 squared will give us 9 times 6 plus 3. But simplifying it further, so 6 times 9 will give us 54 plus 3. So this is equal to 57. So again, so the value of the polynomial is 6x squared plus 3 is equal to 57. Let's move on to our next example. So evaluate the polynomial 6x squared plus 3 when x is equal to negative 4. Again, so we write down the expression 6x squared plus 3. And after that, we'll replace the variable x as open and close parentheses. Then after that, plug in the given value of x, which is equal to negative 4. But take note that negative 4 squared will give us 16. So we have 6 times 16 plus 3. But 6 times 16 will give us 96 plus 3. So therefore, the final answer is equal to 99. Let's now move on to number 4. This time, we have two variables. So let's have example. Evaluate 4x minus 3 divided by 3y minus 4 when x is equal to 1 and y is equal to negative 1. So if we will observe, we have two variables here. So again, we write down the given expression. 4x minus 3 divided by 3y minus 4. Then substitute the values of x and y. x is equal to 1, while y is equal to negative 4. Then simplify. So take note that 4 times 1 will give us 4 minus 3. Then in the denominator, we have 3 times negative 1 will give us negative 3 minus 4. Simplifying it further, so we have 4 minus 3 is 1. Negative 3 minus 4 will give us negative 7. Simplifying further, so positive divided by negative so will give us negative. So therefore, the final answer is negative 1 over 7. Let's try another example. So evaluate 4x minus 3 all over 3y minus 4 when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. So again, we will list down the given expression 4x minus 3 all over 3y minus 4. Then plug in the given values of x and y respectively. So x is equal to 2 while y is equal to 3. Simplifying it further, so we have 4 times 2 will give us 8 minus 3 while 3 times 3 will give us 9. Minus 4. So take note that 8 minus 3 will give us 5 all over. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. So 5 over 5 is equal to 1. So that ends our discussion on evaluating algebraic expression. So again, this is Teacher Onedi Guzman. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.